there's a lot to talk about. Um, and I will probably share more as I utilize these items. But for now, this is, this is the haul. my channel my channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury whether that be your cup of coffee favorite fragrances skincare makeup luxury accessories handbags all sorts of things anything that makes you feel a little bit better about yourself because you deserve it if you didn't already know i went on a journey <laughs> a couple i'm gonna call it a journey went on a trip recently to the wonderful city of chicago and it was a great members meetup for the lovely caleb snell was able to meet up with a bunch of folks from um all over the country and the world actually with <laughs> one of our friends coming in from very far away and just had a weekend of just fun um, conversation, shared experiences, just a really great time and just, just shocked till we dropped. So with this video, I, I bought a lot of stuff. I'll just, I'll just be blunt. I bought a lot of stuff and some of it was planned. Some of it was unplanned. Some of it was, you know, hybrid, like, I, I knew I wanted to go someplace and try some things out, but I didn't quite know what I was going to buy. So uh, there was just so much of it. And I know this is like, it feels like a huge brag in these halls. It's crazy. But I kind of want to break it up and talk about them in segments. So today's segment or video is going to focus on the impulse purchases or the things that I just don't even know why I bought them. I should say I don't even know why I bought them. I know why I bought them. I liked them and I, I think that they're pretty and I'm, I'm excited to have them and I couldn't encounter them anywhere else. Um, so that, you know, they had to come home with me, but I had not left with the intention to pick these items up, but for the most part, everything in this segment, this portion, this, this particular unboxing haul is going to be everything that I just kind of randomly picked up while in Chicago. And then I'll have another one that talks about the ones I intentionally went there with, like, I am going to buy these things. I'm going to pick it up. And then the last one is going to be their MS one. So um, <laughs> I'm just letting you know that there's going to be three videos that go over all the unboxing. So there's just too much to do in one sit down, but these are still going to be long nonetheless, because there's just so much to go over. So the girls are here. They're down below. You're probably hearing, uh, Dolly pant pickles is chewing on something inappropriately. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's a chew on that, but you'll hear the pugs as per usual. Um, doing their thing. So most of these items, um, I was able to bring home with me on the plane. Thankfully, like I could either fold down the bag or, um, just was able to bring them with me. A few of them had to be shipped home. So why this video is taking me so long to put up with the unboxings is like about half of the items ended up having to be shipped back home to me and everything else was able to come, um, with me on the, the plane ride home. So, um, a few of these impulse purchases were actually shipped home. So, um, let me think about the order. Let me go in the order the days. Friday, we started out and really didn't, I didn't personally do really any shopping, um, but the group was out and about doing their thing. So I didn't pick up anything on Friday. Um, Saturday was really the like marathon all day shopping day. Hi, mama. Um, and we started out at Ralph Lauren. I tried on a bunch of stuff there, but the nothing really just tickled my fancy to want to actually pick up. And the one thing that happened for sure on Saturday was I tried on a lot of bags and I think I was overwhelmed with just the choice and what was there and just trying to figure out that I just, I got like bag <laughs> like that. I just couldn't, I couldn't buy a bag no matter how much I wanted to. And that kind of put me in a kind of weird place. So I, my mindset set kind of shifted and I just kind of started focusing on everything else that I wanted to, um, try on. So like shoes, um, 
not quite well, ready to wear, but not typical ready to wear, not actual like t-shirts, you know, sweaters, that kind of thing, but it's ready to wear that's accessory wise, bracelets, all all the, the items that I needed to get sizing on because I'm a plus size person, you know, those are the kind of things that I don't have access to in most of the boutiques around here. So I wanted to make sure to get all of that um, stuff underway and the, the bag thing, it's like, try them on, put them, file them away and for later. And we'll, we'll go, um, back into that. Um, the first purchase that we went to Neiman Marcus after Ralph Lauren, and I went over to the Loewe counter, um, in the fragrance and bath care, the beauty section. And that's where this little baggie is from. And uh, Caleb and I were there and we went looking for the tomato leaf um, hand soap and candle because, you know, it's all over TikTok. It's all over all on social media that that's just the thing to buy. And we tried it out and we were both kind of like, no, what? yeah, um, I don't I mean, I don't know about everyone else out there on social media who maybe they never gardened before. I've grown tomatoes. I had quite an abundant garden and that particular smell, well, don't get me wrong, it was authentic and true. That's not a smell that I want to smell like or have in my house for that matter. Um, and maybe your, you, it, for your for your palate, it's, it's a great smell. This is the kind of smell when I'm out guarding, I want to get it off my hands as soon as possible. So <laughs> I, I like the idea of the scent, but the the literal plant smell was a little bit over the top and um kind of off-putting so i was like oh yeah no so the lovely sales associate there walked over and she'd heard us talking about it and she's like well i know what you're looking for and she walked me over to the sicily counter and she told me about this product right here it has a very similar um some similar notes to it so it's there's some tomato leaf um as one of the notes there's several other in there and yes this this was nice and it came in there was a cologne there was body lotion there's this shower gel um i'm trying to remember there was a candle what else, what else they had but several items in this and this i could get behind like you could bathe in it and have the you know experience smell and then move on and walk away from it. So she talked me into that. I didn't want to splurge for the lotion because I was like, I, I just want to experience the um, shower gel, try that out. And then, um, you know, just went from there. But I thought it was kind of funny that we <laughs> had that experience. Um, and then I just picked up some meteorites from Girl On. I've been wanting to pick some up for quite some time. And I believe these were the special edition a special edition container the gold with the um beaded top so yeah was doing that and they all then caleb and the group went over we had an appointment at fendi and tried on a ton of bags did the things um and then i did pick up something and that's going to be in the next video because that was an intentional <laughs> that was an intentional purchase so that one's going to go in the next video with the intentionals this is all the random stuff i just happened to pick up so um after that let's see we went to lunch and then we had an appointment for mark jacobs so the lovely dawn donuts had a custom painted bag and that was in our, the vlog that um she was just the sales so it was so lovely so put a, a whole event for us uh with champagne and snacks and then um unveiled her bag and then when i had a moment to talk to him kevin um i asked hey do you happen to have because i didn't see it anywhere on display um, I go purple is my favorite color. I have the the small tote bag in um, I think mine's wisteria if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. Um, I go I have it in this color. I'm looking for a strap and I'm looking for the charm if you have it. And he's like I do. They're in the back. And I'm like okay bring them out. So he went back and he dug them up. He had a couple different versions of the mini tote bag and then the strap and brought them out. And I'm like, I went ahead and picked up the baby, the baby tote bag. 
and it's so cute. <laughs> I just, I just had to have it. So got the baby tote bag, and then the strap. I don't quite care for the leather strap on the tote bag, the small tote bag that comes with it. So I wanted to get one of these adjustable like guitar straps. And he did have two versions. He had a thick version and then this thinner one. So I went ahead and picked up the a thinner one because I thought that that would be um, just a better match to the small. And I liked the tone of it. So that was my purchase at Marc Jacobs. And let me give you the price here. So this was $85 for this strap. And then the mill tote bag charm was 125. So very, very reasonable in my opinion, um, prices for those two items. And there is a sales tax there, which we do not have in um, Oregon, but because it was like $200, that was gonna be like 20 bucks tax. I decided to go ahead and um, buy there on site. But, um, I guess pro tip, if you live in an area with less sales tax or no sales tax in my um, particular instance, some of these boutiques will ship home. And in that instance that you pay the rate of your home address. So in my case, I would have paid zero had I had it shipped home. I just, in this instance, I, I, I was okay paying like 20 bucks here and there some of the other items that I picked up, I went ahead and had shipped home because it was going to be significantly more. So it just made more sense to go ahead and save that money. So after that, we, you know, bummed around, did some other shopping. I tried on some Birkins at the Real Real. They went to Chanel, had dinner, all the different things. After dinner, we decided to go over to the Nordstrom's. The Nordstrom has a lot of, um, like, mini boutiques within it and there is a Louis Vuitton in there and my intention was to go into Louis Vuitton and um order the Christmas animation so on my flight into Chicago I got the email that Christmas animation was live I paid for wi-fi on the flight because I'm bougie like that and I have to get I have to have wi-fi um it was live I added everything to cart and I was going to check out and I don't know why I, I just stopped myself. I was just like, oh, it's okay. I will, you know, do it when I get to the hotel room. Uh, I'll just put everything in my cart and I'll just save it. Everything will be fine. You know, I'll be no, no problem. So <laughs> get, get to Chicago. Just don't think about it completely. I guess space it. And the next morning I remember, oh crap, this, this is, Friday was when the email came in Saturday morning. I'm like, Oh my God, I go in to try to order everything. It, everything's unavailable. I'm like, contact advisor is that. I'm like, stupid. Why am I so stupid? Why did I do that? So couldn't get it online. So it says contact advisor. I decide I'm going to go into Louis Vuitton there at the Nordstrom and contact an advisor right there and place my order and everything will be okay. Right? Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. So I go in and the gals are really nice, but um, they're like, they're pulling, they're pulling up everything. Hi, Dolly. I, I know it's traumatizing. Huh? What are we going to do? I'm not going to have the Christmas animation. Um, they're pulling everything up and it's all saying unavailable. And I'm like, oh, so you can't even order it? No. Um, we can tell you, we can call you when it's available and um, let you know. I'm like, I so can notify me. I'm like, I, so you can't, I go, you can't put in a pre-order for me. You can't do anything for me. <laughs> this seemed odd to me. Cause I'm like, when I'm looking on Instagram and it all says like DM a sales associate to do the pre-order that they are able to do it. And it's like, no, it's unavailable altogether. So I'm like, it made no sense to me at all. And basically offering nothing. So I'm, I'm a little baffled by this and I, I need to know down below, like in the comments, your experience with your essays, maybe it's because I have no relationship with these folks, um, which made me sad. I, the person I worked with last time wasn't there and I don't have a essay at my boutique. It's like revolving, revolving door at my location. So anywho, it was just, 
less than fun <laughs> experience dealing with it. But even so, I did find something to purchase and this was a complete last minute didn't even need it, but I'm one of those kind of folks that I don't want to waste your time when I'm in a boutique. I know this seems really stupid, but I, like I said, I don't like to waste somebody's time. So I just found a bandeau that looked interesting. And when you see it, you'll see why <laughs> it seems interesting, but, um, they, they wrapped it very nicely, which was very kind of them. But, um, let me show you why I thought it was fun. And maybe you won't understand, but. And then it's on the reverse there, but it's all perfume bottles selling out Louis Vuitton. And of course, you know how I love my fragrance. So I saw it and went, you know what? This is the perfect little bandeau for me. And I had, I'd never seen it before. So um, it was in the very front case as we were um, walking in and it just seemed really nice. Um, the item number is M93330. It's called Band LV Essence NO. Um, yeah, so that was my LV random purchase. So on Sunday, we went out to the fashion outlets and that was like the day I was totally looking forward to because we don't have high-end outlets here like we have Coach, we have uh, Mark Jacobs that has Tory Burch um, and a Ralph Lauren, but that's pretty much it for our premium outlet. <laughs> there's there's definitely no Gucci, uh, Saint Laurent, um, Berber, any of that at our stores here. So I I was just like, oh my gosh, there's there's luxury outlets, woo! And I've heard you know different things that it's not really you know the luxury stuff. It maybe made for factory whatever. I just wanted to try it out and see. So we tried out all, all the different stores. I did end up going into St. Laurent to look at a couple of bags. Again, nothing that really spoke to me. There was a lot of suede bags, which were really cute. The Lulu, um, several of those. I'm not, I, I like suede, but not enough to, to really pick one up just because of the weather here. And um, so I asked, like, do you have any wallet on chains, any Cassandra wallet on chains, any Cassandra pouches? Um, and they didn't have anything in store at the time. They said they might get some more shipments in later. It just, yeah, it was really sparse. But as we were going through the different cases, um, other folks that were with us, they found some items, you know, to try on and look at and, and those things. But I found this little item. It came in this lovely little um, shopping no box, but it does come in a little dust bag. And I did do a quick sneak peek of it in the vlog, so you probably saw it, but it was this bangle. And I didn't know it came with a little leather tag. So it just says Saint Laurent, Paris, made in Italy, has a little serial number on it, but yeah, so a little tag. And then, um, so it's a YSL bangle, leather inset in there, but gold. And I just thought it was a really cute, and it was like $200. So not, I mean, it's not cheap, obviously, for, you know, it's not like, but it's costume jewelry. Um, I thought it was really pretty. So, and it fits both of my wrists nicely had a lot of room um which was basically my concern across the board with all of the jewelry i was trying on um from hermes and and other brands was making sure because again being a larger plus size person um to know what's going to to fit so that was my bracelet from ysl Gurried on over to burberry and burberry i do not have a fancy bag or anything because I had it shipped home. <laughs> so that arrived and they sent it over, um, you know, just a nondescript kind of box here, just wrapped in, in paper. Um, but you'll see me trying it on in the vlog, one of the items, this Burberry wrap. And I'm trying to remember 
it have the price on there? Yes, there's a price tag on there. What the original price was. 910 was the original. And then it was down to 639 and then it had another additional percent off. And I believe it was like just under 400 for it. I really just liked the, um, I don't have anything in Burberry pattern, um, the check. I just liked how it looked. There was a very ample fabric. Um, it's so soft. It's so soft and beautiful. Um, I was just really excited to um, have her show it to me. And this was actually, I was trying on a black um, cape with um, the gray and white check interior. And she saw me trying that on and I, I actually liked that one a little bit more, but she's like, I have this one that's actually on sale. Do you want to try it out? And when I put it on, I was just like, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> let me, let me take that home with me. So sold. <laughs> had to, had to have, had to have. And then they had quite a few um, bags and SLGs and all sorts of accessories, sunglasses, everything. Um, Tai Tai found a beautiful um, blue plaid bag and the matching coat. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so he scored. So this one literally, it was the color. Um, <laughs> the color was like, I need this in my life. <laughs> and I start laughing because when I... When I saw the shape, I'm not, I don't know a lot about Burberry, so forgive me. But when I saw the shape of, of this item and the bags, I saw something and I didn't immediately think of what it's supposed to be. I thought of something else. So I'm going to show it to you and you can tell me what you think it, what you think it is. And I will tell you what I think it is and hopefully you will, um, you will understand. <laughs> why I made the comment I made so I still love it though but I was just like <laughs> and then everyone's like I can't unsee that now yeah I know it yeah anywho um it's a card it's a pouch and card case so it has a slot here and then it can carry two slot two cards here um and then it has a zip pouch at the top right there I love the color and they had a larger one too. And I almost grabbed both, but I'm like, do I need that many SLGs? Probably not. Should I have bought it? Probably. But I just was like, let me pick up the one. And you know, if it's meant to be, I'll get the other one someday as well. But I just really liked the, um, the little emblem on there, the color. <laughs> I swear. God. I just can't stop laughing when I, when I see the shape, but they had the bags. Um, it was just, it was just funny. So <laughs> that was, that was my Burberry purchase. So those were all of my impulse buys. There were a lot of them and there are still, you know, a, a few more items to unbox. Those are the intentional purchases. Um, you're going to notice a, a theme with the remaining items. Um, where I kind of focused. <laughs> I mentioned, I alluded to it earlier in the video that I stayed away from bags pretty much, but I, I really went hard on two places <laughs> and accessories and you're going to see that in the next couple of videos. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing my random purchases that I got in Chicago. I will be back shortly with the remaining items and, in the last unboxing video, we're going to talk about if I'm on a journey. Ponder that. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoy being with you. Let me know what you think about my stuff. If it's frivolous, crazy, if you would want one of these, I'm like, well, how did it take me so long to get a Burberry thing? I'm excited. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.